Hey guys, in the new trailer for the second season, part two of Invincible, there's a hint that someone is going to die and show that Angster Levi will have more prominence. After a wait that seemed like an eternity, Invincible returned to crime video in November 2023 with brand new episodes. The first four episodes focused on Mark Grayson, who was still trying to recover from that intense and bloody confrontation with his father, Omni-Man. Debbie, Omni-Man's wife, is also in the same situation, but at the end of these episodes, the story takes a turn and it seems that Omni-Man may be starting a path of redemption. Before we get into more details, one quick thing, subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps a lot and you stay informed about everything. I do everything here with all the care every single day, having a chat with you guys about these topics and keeping you updated. Your likes and subscriptions help this project grow and the bigger it gets, the more cool videos I can bring you. Agreed? Thank you so much for subscribing and liking. Continuing, despite the trailer showing a lot of action and some comedy to come, it also shows Nolan in a moment of fragility. Additionally, it hints that Angstrom Levy will have a big role and even shows a funeral scene. Did he kill someone? But it's still up in the air who's in the coffin. Before diving into the second part of season two of Invincible, there are a few points worth remembering. In the third episode of the season, we had a big twist when Mark found out that his father, Nolan, was living on an alien planet called Tarasha. Since the turbulent events at the end of the first season, he now considers this place his home and, astonishingly, has even started a new family there, which means that Mark has gained a little brother named Oliver. Nolan ropes in Mark's help to defend his new family and fight the Viltrumites, and they manage to fight well together despite their differences, but in the end they don't emerge victorious. Nolan is eventually captured by the Viltrumites and whisked away to their planet. Afterwards, a Viltrumite has a quick word with Mark and discloses to him that with Nolan's capture, the task of conquering Earth has been passed on to Mark. This implies that Invincible has the responsibility to prep Earth for the Viltrumite Empire's conquest, which could put him in a position where he may have to confront even his friends. If Mark refuses, the implications will be even more severe. The first part of Season 2 also left some loose ends in the air, like one of the Mauler twins revealing he knows he's not the clone and poisoning his doppelganger. There's also Deb who's still trying to deal with Nolan's betrayal and Donald finding out he's not human. From the new trailer, you can see that the Prime Video series will give more space to other characters of Invincible and put Angstrom Levy more in evidence after he was kind of hidden in the first four episodes of the first part of season two. The first trailer for the second installment reveals a sinister twist that sets the stage for a major comic book story in season three. After the events of the first four episodes of season two, the curiosity about the course of Mark Grayson's story is at an all-time high thanks to the rich source material from Robert Kirkman and Ryan Watley. And with the third season of Invincible already confirmed, several hints about the direction of the series are already appearing. The trailer revealed that an alternate, sinister version of Mark will appear. The trailer ends with glimpses of Mark in a different outfit, black lenses on his glasses and a long cape. Although the second season of Invincible has set up Mark's next suit, it's not the one he'll be wearing. The costume is actually taken straight from the comics, being the unmistakable look of an alternate version of the hero known as Sinister Mark. The character of Sinister Mark differentiates himself from the other alternate versions of Mark that the first part of season two has already introduced. This version has a more tragic backstory. 
when he was younger, someone killed Debbie Grayson in his dimension. His dimension is far more evil than most, which caused Sinister Mark to become the most powerful person on Earth and develop a taste for human flesh, becoming a cannibal. He's an important character in the comic books, mainly because of his part in Engstrom's master plan. The presence of Sinister Mark in the second part of season 2 of Invincible is another sign that the show is gearing up for the Invincible War storyline in season 3. In the comic books, the Invincible War story unfolds over several issues as part of Angstron's attempt to avenge Mark after apparently having killed him. He gathers 16 alternate versions of Mark from across the multiverse and unleashes them in Mark's dimension, watching as they cause destruction in an attempt to draw out the Invincible. While it's confirmed that Sinister Mark will appear in the second part of Season 2 of Invincible, the remaining four episodes are too early for an adaptation of the Invincible War. It's very likely that this evil version of Mark will only appear in a short sequence, possibly to aid Angstrom. This would set Sinister Mark up for a more prominent role in Invincible Season 3, while still giving audiences a sneak peek at an evil threat to come. The trailer for the second part of Season 2 of Invincible shows Mark in a confrontation with Anissa. In the Invincible comics, Anissa is a Viltrumite whose main mission is to convince Mark to have a child with her, aiming at the recovery of the population of her race that is dwindling. Even with her requests, Anissa resorts to questionable methods, threatening the loved ones, Mark's dear ones, the safety of the planet and even himself if he doesn't cooperate in the creation of a new generation of Viltrumites. After Mark's refusal to help her, the two engage in an intense confrontation that ends with Anissa getting the upper hand. However, what happens after the fight is even more serious. By immobilizing Mark, she forces him into a situation that results in her pregnancy, that is, she sexually abuses him. The tricky thing is that Anissa doesn't suffer any major consequences for her actions. So the creator of Invincible, Robert Kirkman, is known for not sparing details on sensitive subjects. The controversy revolves around the way the scene of sexual violence against Mark was portrayed in the comics, taking an approach that makes it seem less serious than it is. Still, the series has hinted at how it intends to treat this issue. Any ideas, any questions or thoughts, leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk about the video topic. If you like the video, give it a like, share it and subscribe to stay up to date. Indications of upcoming videos that make perfect sense for you to watch are popping up here now. See you in the next video. See you later.